Hi there, I'm back with another Jumper T Pro video. So last time I um, I introduced a double click to arm feature, basically using the logical switches to um, turn the momentary switch into something more useful. Uh, one of the biggest weaknesses was that if you double click too fast, uh, it wouldn't always register. But luckily there are some new accessories on the market now to help you make the device even better. And so two of the biggest weaknesses I thought were, one is that the momentary switches didn't allow for um, lock switching. And, uh, and number two, the gimbal sticks were a little bit too tall or a little bit too high. And um, I managed to find two accessories to resolve these issues. So first of all, you can buy this case, which now has, normally you would have the two um, pop um, rollers now the new, this accessory it's not very expensive gives you the momentary sorry the lock switch which allows you to um, lock your arming and then unlock as you need and um, and this I think is an amazing update because now we don't have to worry about the double click to um, arm with the momentary switches and we can use that for something else and um, one thing I should probably note and I'll go into this a bit more detail is is that by default, um, pressed in is a negative value and pressed out is positive, but um, I've worked out a way to fix that and I'll explain that a little bit later. Um, but first, let me go through and share a bit more about these um, gimbal switch uh, sticks, I should say. So, um, these gimbal sticks basically, and I'll find another one for comparison, um, have been shortened by a significant amount. So as you can see, the the original versus the uh, the new ones, and um, that really makes it a little bit more comfortable, especially if you're um, a thumb style controller. Then um, then those sticks are much more comfortable to use. And I'll I'll leave some links in the description, so if you want to buy them, you can get them at AliExpress or Banggood. Uh, one thing to note: if you want to replace the sticks, basically. All you need to do is really get a good grip of the stick and pull them out. Um, there's no locking mechanisms. You don't need to open your controller for that. Okay, so moving back to the um, the new lock switch. So essentially, one thing I wanted to point out is, as I just mentioned just a second ago, um, unfortunately, by default, pressed in is negative and pressed out is positive. Um, this means that we can't use the warning features on the controller to um, to warn you when you've got um, arm enabled. Um, but I found out, you can see that there are three pins on the, let me just bring this in a bit, there are three pins on this. Um, essentially all you need to do is swap the two outside pins and um, that will then reverse the um, the switch in from negative to positive. Now, I have now installed this on this controller. As you can see, it's um, it's there now. It's not the nicest switch. It's a little bit soft, but um, it certainly does the trick. And there are a few things that you need to do in order to make the most of this. So first of all. First of all, we all need to go in, and I'm not sure if I can get this. Let me see if I can get this in a bit more detail. Let me zoom in a little bit. Okay. So, first of all, going into the main menu, we need to get to page six and on page six it basically helps you choose the type of um, pot switches and um, and I'm not really sure what everything means but it seemed like multipos seemed to be the best option so I set that as a multipos and once that's set up then um, then essentially I can go into the logical switches
uh, so logical one you can see here I basically um, set a logical function of if a is over is a is greater than x and that value is greater than 90 then um, then logical switch one is activated and then that will then allows me to go and um, assign it as the arm switch as you can see here assign the logical one as the arm switch and um, the other thing is if you want to set your warning so that if you've got it on when you turn on you get a warning um, then you can go and do that by coming down to where am I go down a bit lower now you can see here pot warning and just make sure that um, S2 is not um, uh, highlighted in, in, in black or in, in, in the inverse color and by doing that you'll see that once you turn that off Oops, sorry, should, I should turn that on first. <laughs> and when I turn it on, it will give me a warning. And then and once I, I turn it off, then the warning will be removed. So yeah, um, I'm really happy with the shorter sticks. And I'm just zoom out a little bit. Um, it's much more comfortable. Uh, it's really the nice, uh, the right size. And then the um, the locking switch at the back the makes it perfect. And that's it for me today. I'll send uh, leave some links in the description. And um, next, what I want to do is uh, assign the second pot to um, to volume and display control. If you're interested in that, let me know. All right. Thank you very much. Have a good one.